how to find out where the plumbing runs under your house. Guys, welcome back out to the outhouse. I spent so much time out here now, I think this is my office. I know as plumbers, before sewer cameras, I would literally pull up to a house and I'm looking up at the roof, looking at the vents, trying to figure out how I thought the pipes were ran. The reason being, if I'm gonna have to run a sewer machine down to unclog a system, I wanted to know. So today, man, we're back out at the outhouse, but I don't know where this toilet goes. As a matter of fact, the lavatory's been pulled, the water line, well, I'm gonna have to crack it open to see if we have water here or not. I know we've got water outside the barn, but I don't know where it runs in here or where the valve is to turn it off if that's the case. So we're gonna try to pull this toilet, we're gonna run a camera down it and pull our locator out because I need to know where this goes. What septic tank does this go to or does it even go to a septic tank? Now this video is sponsored by Leak Pro. Go check out leak-pro Com. When I first bought this property, this entire barn, including this room, was just full of crap. But I told the guy that I was buying it from, I'm not buying it the way it is. You've got to get rid of all that stuff. Once he cleaned out this room, he didn't even know there was a toilet in here, and he's had this property for four years. So now that we're starting to get out to the barn and starting to build some stuff out, we need to find out where the drain goes and do we have water out here. So. Let's jump in here and check this out. But first, I'm gonna put some gloves on. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is disconnect the water because I wanna see if we have live water here. Man, you can tell this was put in a long time ago too. The tube going to the toilet is actually 3 8 inch copper. If you're a plumber, do y'all still even do that anymore? I mean, do you use copper tubing to hook up a toilet or is it all that flexible tubing now? Is it all the pre-manufactured hoses? I like this in big custom homes because I like getting that chrome tubing and putting that in. So anyway, this is going to be fun. So really what I'm doing now is I'm just disconnecting the water from the toilet because I want to see if I've got water out here. If not, well, I know we've got water because I've got water just the other side of the section of this barn. I just don't know if this is still tied in or if it ever was tied in. I mean, you would think it is since there's, they went so far as to hook it up. Now, as a plumber, I would have gotten in trouble for wasting all this extra tubing. What we'd have done is we'd have cut it off right up here. And then just so you know, we'd have taken a pair of channel locks, reached inside and peeled it out. And what that would do is if it was cut short enough, if it was pulled short enough that that copper tried to push back out, those lips that we curled out on the top of the copper there would grab that cone washer. That way it couldn't come out. So it's a trick that we used to use. Man, I don't know whether to play with the water first or go ahead and pull the toilet. It's not dripping, so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull the toilet, but then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take apart this valve to see if we have water out here. And really the bad thing is I'm afraid we do, but this, this valve has never been serviced or have no idea if it ever has. I'm almost afraid to crack it on because I may have to shut off water to the whole property just to get it to turn off. So let's reach under here and see what we can do about pulling this toilet. Cap's been trying to eat at the bolts to get into the toilet for water. The, the rats have been trying to eat at the cap to get into the toilet. But inside of it's at least clean. All right, let's see if these bolts will come off. Now, 
All right, so that first one came apart a lot easier than I thought, uh, thought it would. Both these nuts came off really, really easy, which is kind of nice. That doesn't happen very often. Yeah. I, I don't think this would work very good. And and Randy, will you come in here and get these spiders out of here? No. Uh-uh. Randy, it's just a few. All kinds of critters out here. Well, whoever roughed it in, man, it, it looks like they roughed it in right. From here, it looks like I'm looking down into a lead bin. They've got a wax ring there that, that wasn't set very well because it only sealed off with the toilet partially. Might have should have used a double wax or something like that, but man, everything here appears to be in pretty good shape. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and pull the camera in here run it down the lead bin, see if it is lead. It's what it looks like from here, but I don't have a lot of light in here. But we're gonna run it down in there, see what it is, see where it goes. That way we can determine if these drains are tied together, we might go ahead and build this out like a bathroom. We're trying to figure out what to do here at the compound, so let's check this out. Let's try not to. Perfect. So I'm hooking up to my control panel here on the hub. All right, so as you can see, in my pretty face, so you know it's me. I love these Milwaukee cameras. These things are great. And yes, it is. Hey Randy, get me a, a putty knife or something to go ahead and clean all this wax off. Now, I don't like the way they poured this with the flange down in the concrete. I prefer my flange just to set up on top and also prefer a four inch drain, but we'll be able to make this work. Okay, so we come in, right here everything looks real good. The, the, the bend itself looks great. Now, I'm saying that's lead, that may be ABS or something. Okay, so we go back into the sand tea. Okay, now it looks like there's a pipe there because it looks like there's fittings. So it looks like there's a pipe right there because of the fittings. I just don't know that I'm gonna be able to go past it because I'm also seeing a bunch of dirt. So it makes that turn Really, right at the bottom of the sand tea. There we go. Where'd I go up? Yeah, I think I went up. So I'm pushing that dirt. Okay, so once I get in here to the dirt, okay. Hey, Randy. Yeah. See if we have a flexible hose that I can put on there and run down this drain to rinse it out. It does not look like I have water here. All right, so we got an open water line, no water. So I can't rinse this out that way, so let's get a hose in here. All right, so now it doesn't look like lead anymore, it looks like PVC. Right, now I don't wanna put a ton of water down it right now. But this is good, I think we got enough here. We gotta got it rest out a little bit. Right, now we're 
getting standing in water here. And I'm going underwater here, so I can't really tell what I'm getting into. But I'm about 10 feet in. All right, what I want to do here is go ahead and get my locator out and see if I can find where this head is. That way I can figure out which way it's going. See what we can figure out. See, see the blue dot? Yeah. You get right over it. Pointed this way. So the blue dot is right here. So you make a mark. Okay. The other blue dot is right here. You make a mark. It tells you it's one foot eleven deep. So that comes out and turns this way. So that's probably why there's a notch out right there too. They probably laid it, stuck a piece of pipe down under this ground right here. And it's only one foot 11 deep. Hold that right there. I'm gonna stick it in about another foot or two. Yeah, and the water, well, the water level's gone down too. Up, uh, back up underwater, so I'm gonna go check and see what that moved us to. Straight right out to here. here. That. And then it could be back underwater there. Yeah. 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 So it's dropping down over here, but I don't. From there, which this concrete does slope, slope a little too. So that would so, make sense. Yeah. All right. Let me push it in about three more feet. Okay. See if I see what I come up to at the very end there. There's two. There's three. All right, may, that may mean the head may have dropped a little bit. Yeah, Close pretty, to it. Pretty, pretty much, yeah. All right, so as you see, we can see what the, where the sewer line goes. It doesn't look too bad. It just looks like that we're going down into where it's holding water. And like I said, we don't know if there's a septic system out there, we don't know if it just drops into the ground. We literally have no idea about this thing. Uh, got the pipe almost looks like orange ductile iron pipe or something. Hey, this house was built in stages, so it's very possible. And that's pretty interesting. Is that a dancing cockroach? So after I go 16 feet in, Randy, it's like I hit an end. And I, I don't want to push through anything. Is that where you stopped earlier, pretty much? Yeah, okay. right about the same spot. Okay. Well, the good thing is, is I've got it rinsed out now. The water level will go down. So hopefully, after it goes down, we can get in here and clean it out, or it is cleaned out, and we can get in here and get a look at it and see what kind of problems we've got. And right back where we started.